Hi there guys, my name is Aaron and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the white background into a digital backdrop with just a few clicks. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see, the pregnant woman in red dress as our main subject and here we have the digital backdrop. But before we dive into today's video tutorial, please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the digital backdrop and the subject or the pregnant woman in red dress in case that if you want to practice the step-by-step -step process with me. So first thing first, what we're going to do is that we need to duplicate the background twice. So just drag and drop the background to the plus, just like this. And now that we are done with the duplicating, we need to separate the subject from background. So in order to do that, I'm going to click here on the object selection tool and make sure that cloud uh, is clicked because uh, this is the better results when we want to separate the subject from the background and just make a selection around the subject just like this. Wait until it's done. And uh, once that is done, we are going to click here that says select and mask. So here we are in the select and mask. The reason why I'm doing this is because, for example, uh, sometimes we need to refine the hair around the subject. For example, let me zoom in here. And the Photoshop did a great job, I guess. But for example, we want to remove some color around the dress. For example, that is here and just a little here. Just a little here. And uh, I think that we are good to go. Maybe just a little here on this part because that dress is kind of looking like that and here we have our selection and make sure that you click here on the layer mask so here we have a before and after what we've done in the select uh, subject and uh, for example as you can see we lost some details here around the subject and in order to bring that back we need to click B for brush and make sure that you have the foreground in white color make sure that opacity and flow is 100% and just paint it over there so this is how we retrieve our information back. And I think that is looking okay. We need to bring back some information just a little more here around the dress because uh, when we find that with a select and mask, we lost some details, but I think that is looking okay. So here's before and here's after. As you can see, we have removed the subject from the background and I'm going to rename this one as shadows because we are going to use that layer as shadows and this one as subject. So I'm going to duplicate the subject just like this, drag and drop to the plus, click control and uh, sorry, create an, another layer, click control, hold it and click here, right click and click merge layers. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to rename this one as subject uh, selection, just like this. Sorry. And now that I'm done with the uh, separating the subject from the background, I'm going to click shift, hold it, click here and click on the move tool and just drag them drop, uh, drag and drop them into the digital backdrop. So here's our digital backdrop and as you can see, I'm going to click Ctrl and G to make a group and rename this the pregnant woman, as you can see. So here's before and here's an after. So here we have the digital backdrop and the pregnant woman. I'm going to click Ctrl and T to transform the uh, pregnant woman into the digital backdrop to make it look like more realistic. So I'm going to resize this and uh, I'm going to put it down there. And I think that here is okay. Let me just maybe in, in the middle of this window. I don't know, maybe here. And I think that is looking okay right here. So here's a before and after. And I think that is okay. And now that we had the pregnant woman here, as you can see, it's looking okay, but we need to bring uh, some shadows into the image. So here we have the shadows. So we turn on the shadows and as you can see, it's not looking that good, but we need to switch the blending mode from normal to multiply or darken. Depends on the, the thing that does. For example, here we have the darken and here we have the multiply. And as you can see, we have some shadows, but they don't look that good. So I'm going to create another, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to create here 
a layer mask because I'm going to remove that by clicking Control and Delete. So here we have uh, nothing, but we need to click B for brush and just paint it on the uh, black layer mask. So with a white brush, we are going to paint in the black layer mask and I'm going to paint under the dress just like this. And as you can see, we have some real shadows from the subject just like this. For example, if you want the shadows to be or to look more darker, we are going to create another uh, curve layer here and make sure that is a clipping mask. And uh, let's just make this look even darker. So here is a, a before and after, which is looking okay, but not that much because we need to add some more shadows into this image. So here we have a before the shadows and I think that is looking okay. I'm going to paint just a little more here because the light is hitting from behind and it will separate like this. So I think that this one is okay. Now let me zoom in and as you can see we still have some information around the dress on this image. So I think that I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to click uh, B for brush again. So right now I'm going to use a black brush and I'm going to paint here on the subject layer mask and I'm going to delete it just like this to make this look uh, to make this rest look even more realistic so here's a before and after and I think that is looking okay now as I said I'm gonna add another shadow under the dress so I'm gonna click here on the background and click plus so this is how we create another empty layer so with just a black brush I'm going to paint it under the dress just like this but don't worry because I'm going to remove it from the subject so I'm going to click here on the layer mask click control and click here on the subject selection and just delete it this is why we saved the subject selection and here we have a dark shadow which is not looking that good because we have to uh, switch the blending mode from normal to soft light and here we have a before and after and I think that we are going to reduce it by 25 and click here on the shadows. And if you, for example, if you want to remove the shadows a little from the sides, for example, like right here, right here, I'm going to do it just a little. So here's before and here's after, which I think that is looking okay. And now that we are done with the shadows, uh, for example, we need to add some depth. Uh, sorry, we need to add some depth of field into the image. So I'm gonna click here on the background, and I'm gonna drag and drop this to the plus. I'm gonna click here on filter, blur gallery, and click here that says tilt shift. So I'm gonna drag and drop the point into the bottom to make this look more realistic, just like this. And as you can see, the blur is uh, 15 pixels. So for example, if we increase it. As you can see, this one is kind of too much. So I'm going to go by 12 maybe, or maybe 10. Depends on how this image will look. But I think that 13 will be okay. And you can play around with a point, for example. But I'm going to leave it down there because this is how a real image will look like. Let me just wait until it's done. So here we have a before and after and I think that is looking okay and as you can see we have a gap uh, inside the model for example here and here and I'm going to remove it from the subject so I'm gonna create a selection around it with a pen tool so click here on the pen tool and just make a selection around that. Just like this right click make selection and make sure that feather radius is zero and just paint it out with a black brush just like this the reason why i'm doing this with a pen tool is because i want an accurate selection around that gap you can do it with a brush of course but i want to create it as i said an accurate line so here we have a before and after and now that I'm done with that, uh, we need to uh, color grade or the... <clears throat> and now that I'm done with that, we need to work around with the colors. So as you can see, uh, they, don't, they don't have a color harmony between. So I'm going to click here on the background copy, click here and click on the color balance. So I'm going to work on the midtones. For example, I'm going to increase this one into the reds and just a little into the yellows. 
So here we have a before and after, which is looking even better. And I think that is okay. I'm gonna turn down opposite just a little. So here we have a before and after of everything that we've done. And now that I'm done with uh, some color balance, I'm gonna add some other stuff in this image. For example, I'm gonna click here on the gradient tool. And here we have selected our orange uh, color. I'm gonna create another empty layer here. And uh, I'm gonna click here on the circled one. And I'm gonna make like a flare or something like that, as you can see. And we have to switch the blend mode from normal to screen. So here we have a before and after. And for example, if you want to remove that from the, we want to make it like the light is hitting uh, from outside and uh, we need to delete it from inside. So click here on the layer mask and with a black brush, we are going to paint it around it just like this. But make sure you leave some because sometimes the light hits just like this one. For example, you can even make it larger or play around with it. And I think that this one here will be okay. Just like this. So here we have a before and after. And I'm going to remove it just a little from the subject. So click control, hold it and click here on the subject selection and just delete it with uh, maybe 25% of opacity of the brush and just paint it over there with a black brush. So here we have a before and after. And I think that is looking okay. Now I'm going to add some uh, color grade here into the image. For example, I'm going to click here and click the color lockup. Click here that says load 3D LUTs. And I'm going to go with the foggy night. And I'm going to play around with the layer styles. For example, if you put it here or here, it depends uh, what you're seeking for. But I'm going to go with the luminosity and just go by 25. So here's before and here's an after, but I'm going to lower this because I think that is kind of too much, but 15, I think is okay. Now I'm going to click here and I'm going to click on the curves. I'm going to create some vignette. So I think this one is okay. Click here on the gradient tool and make sure that you have uh, black and white selected and just uh, make a circle here. So here's before and here's after, which is okay, but I'm gonna go by 45 and uh, check these others. And I think that this one is looking really nice. So I'm gonna add another one behind the pregnant woman. So I'm gonna click here and choose, uh, click here on the plus so we can create an empty layer. And I'm gonna go to the gradient tool and just made, make another silk, uh, circle one, sorry and switch the blending mode from normal to screen again and as you can see before and after what's going on so i'm going to reduce the opacity by 65 maybe so here's a before and after and i think that is okay but i'm gonna put this on top just like this now i'm gonna play around with the selective color for example i'm gonna play around with the reds just like this so we are going to make this image look even better and here we have a before and after of the reds, which is okay, but 50% will be enough. I'm going to click on selective color again, click on the blacks and play around with it. And always I will lower the opacity of everything because I don't want them to look 100%. So here we have a before and after, but as you can see, we still have some lines, uh, for example, here, and we need to add some red color into the subject. So I'm going to make a group of them and just rename them color grade and turn them off for the moment. And I'm going to click here on the pregnant woman and I'm going to create an empty layer here and make sure that you have created a clipping mask. Zoom in. I'm going to copy the color with the a dropper tool so click here to copy the red color and just paint it over there with a brush make a smaller brush just like this and switch the blending mode from normal maybe to the color depends on how we will remove that and i think that the color will work fine you can do that in both of them sides uh, depends where the color need to be removed and I think that we are good to go so I'm gonna zoom out now and 
turn on the color grade. So here we have a before, here we have an after. And I think that is looking okay. Now I'm going to click shift and click here and make this a new group from layers and duplicate the group. Right click and merge the group into a single layer. So here we have a before and after of everything that we have done. And now I'm going to create another copy of the group. Click here on the filter, camera roll. So I'm going to add some adjustments into the image. So here we have the presets. And depends uh, what kind of presets you have installed in your camera roll. But these are mine. I created before and I use them uh, daily. So let me just check them which one fits this image. And I think that this one is looking really great, but I'm going to turn off the grain. Make it zero. Click OK. So let me just wait. So here we have a before and after. I'm going to turn down this by 45 and merge again into a single layer. So here we have a before and here's an after. Here's before and here's an after. Let me just put the pregnant woman in top. Just like this. And you will see what's going on here. So here we have a before and here's after. Here's before and here's an after. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short video tutorial. Please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the digital backdrop. You can find the pregnant woman if you want to practice with me. Let me know if I'm understandable or not. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.